fake friends fake friends fake friends it seems like everywhere you turn you keep hearing about fake friends but what's the reason it's because friendship is one of the most important gifts that god has given us in life the bible says in proverbs chapter 17 verse 17 that a friend is loving at all times and a brother is born for adversity and in proverbs chapter 18 verse 24 the bible says a man that had friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother do you have good friends it is god's desire that you should have good friends that help you fulfill the purpose that he has called you to friends are important in your journey to becoming all that god has called you to be david would have never become king without jonathan and his friend he would have been killed by Saul long before he could have ever ascended that throne. So who is your friend? Do you have true or fake friends? Well, I believe the reason why we hear so much about fake friends is because most people don't understand who a true friend is supposed to be. Yes, they know the importance of friendship, but not really what God's idea of friendship is supposed to be. You see, a friend is not just someone who makes time for you and calls you and checks up on you. As important as those things are, that's not all there is to a true godly friendship. It is important for you to know who a friend is supposed to be so that you can properly evaluate your friendships and know whether the friends that you have are truly good friends or fake ones. So you will know exactly who you will be able to rely on in times of trouble. So what exactly does God say about a good friend? Number one, the first and most important characteristic of a true godly friend is that they show you the love of God. They are caring, they are loving, they exemplify the 13th chapter of the first book of Corinthians. Look, this does not mean in any way that they are perfect or that they never make mistakes, but most often than not, they constantly prove their love for you in the way that they think of and treat you. It doesn't matter how spiritual or safe the person is, if they are not a good friend, if they are constantly making you feel like you are a burden, or if they make you feel like they've got better things to do than to listen to your worries or to care about what's bothering you or to celebrate with you, if they constantly seem like they are above it all and better than mere emotions when it comes to your relationship, that's probably God pointing out to you that they may not be a true friend. They may not be bad people, but they can be bad friends. It doesn't matter if they were your best friend at some point. If it always looks like the relationship is a one-sided one, it's time to let it go. A true friend is invested in the friendship as you are. They make you feel loved, seen, and accepted. When they make mistakes, they're able to own up to it when you draw attention to them. They celebrate with you when they celebrate and mourn with you when you mourn. True friends learn to love you more and more as Jesus loved his disciples as time passes. This may not always mean that they agree with everything that you do or go along with everything you say, but it means that as much as possible, they try to put your interests ahead of everything else. Number two, they don't let you settle in your comfort zone. True godly friendships push you out of your comfort zone. One of the reasons why God gives you friends like we've already looked at it, is to help you fulfill your purpose. God puts friends in your life to help you become all that you were meant to be. This is one of the reasons why it's so important that you know who you have in your life. Are they really from God or not? True friendships want to see you improve. They want to see you get better in every area of your life and so they will push you and they will let you settle. They will push you to apply for that job or that course that you are afraid to go for. They will push you to go on that fast that you don't think you can. They will push you to pray more. They will point out when you were lazy in about and when you are not giving it your best. They will be there for you through the ups and the downs of whatever you decide to do. And when you fail, they will comfort you, but they won't expect you to remain down. And friendship will pick one another up. That is exactly what true friendship means. Number three. They push you to obey God. As much as friends exemplify the love of God to you, they also push you to obey God. 
They push you to take that step of faith that God is calling you to take. They call out your attention when you're beginning to take steps that are different from what God intends you to take. A true friend will not see you disobeying God and going down the wrong path and not call you out on it. The Bible in Proverbs 27 verse 6 says, The faithful are the wounds from a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. As much as it may make you angry, your true friends are more interested in you making the right decisions than in you being happy with them. So I must ask you again, do you have true friends? Number four, they help you to see the less than perfect areas where you need working on, but they do it in love. Look, sin blinds us. It skews our perception and makes us not see properly as we should. And this is one of the reasons why God has given us true friends. To point out these areas to us that you usually wouldn't see on your own. True friends help you see the areas of your life where you need God to work on. They help you see what needs to be fixed in your life. They draw your attention to your faults so that you can then allow God to work on them. But they do it all in a loving manner. They don't do it to show that they are better than you or that they have better lives or that they've got their lives more together than you, but they do it so that you can be better and closer to becoming all that God intends you to be. They don't rub your face in it or derive pleasure in pointing out your faults. Hey, if anyone ever does this, they are without doubt not a true friend. Number five, they listen and encourage you. This goes without saying. James chapter 5 verse 16 says, Confess your faults to one another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Whether it's by encouraging you or praying for you or providing words of comfort and edification, true friends build you up. They strengthen you. They help you to keep going when you think that you can go no further. All these are signs of who a true friend is and should be. If any of your friends are not doing any, or at least some of these, then I think it's high time to reevaluate that relationship. At the same time, and more importantly, if you are not doing any of these for your friends, then I think it's time to check if you yourself are a true friend or not. Are you a true friend? Do you have true friends? God bless you.